My name is Chris Smitherson, and I'm unvaccinated. Ever since Omicron hit, I've, I've just felt so alone. I feel so left out since all my vaccinated friends have COVID. Every time I see my vaccinated friends all hanging out inside, wearing masks because they all have COVID, I really start to regret my decision not to get the jab. Sometimes I fake a sneeze just to feel included, but they can tell. I'm healthy. I've tried everything. I, I lick doorknobs, I, I double dip guacamole, I even ate a golden corral. <laughs> but nothing worked. No matter how hard I try, I just can't get the Rona. Since I can't be quarantined with my friends, I guess I just have to continue on with my life. Out here. As if there's no pandemic. At all. I am an illegal gun owner, what some would call a deranged murderous criminal, and yeah, I'm concerned about how these new laws are going to affect both my illegal gun ownership and my ability to brutally murder anyone that crosses me. Democrats, who I usually vote for because I want to get out of parole easy, are proposing a whole slew of gun control laws, which means in order to, to get my guns, I have to start breaking laws. I mean, even more than the laws that I already broke, because I'm a murderer. The background check thing sounds really concerning. I would definitely fail since I'm a well-known psychopath. <laughs> I mean, you take one look into my background, you'll find that I killed Mikey and Little T, and I killed the old man Humphreys while he was walking home from work. I killed the uh, cashier at the Circle K, and I killed uh, What's-Her-Face. Hmm? Plus, there's the people I've injured, and the list of people I still want to murder, it's a long list, so... No way I'm getting a gun if the background check turns up all of that. The only silver lining is this. I've never actually purchased a gun through a gun dealer. I just steal all of my murder weapons. In fact, sometimes I steal them from the people I murder. And so far, no one has proposed a background check on theft, so I think I'm good. But they also want to limit high-capacity magazines. So, 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 let's just say, hypothetically, I got to drive by a crack house on 12th Street and shoot it up a little bit, you know, to send them a message. But now, I got to reload after every 10 shots. You see how irritating and annoying that would be? To be honest, I might just keep using a high-capacity magazine in spite of the law, because... I'm not just out there trying to commit murder, I'm trying to commit multiple counts of murder. That's the difference between being good and being great. Honestly, I haven't been this concerned about the new law since they put those gun-free zone signs up around schools, because here's the thing. Sometimes the people I want to kill are near schools. It seems like these politicians don't even consider the adverse effect their policies will have on people's lives or on my ability to end their lives. The only policy that sounds kinda cool is the buyback program. If they offer a lot of money for AR-15s, that could be pretty worthwhile. I'll sell them the ones I got. Then use the money to buy more guns illegally on black market. Then I'll go right on murdering. Look, in the end, while I'm still a little frustrated that these gun laws will be a minor inconvenience for murderous psychopaths like myself, I am grateful that they ultimately won't do anything to stop me from killing. And hopefully, if there are a few less good guys with guns out there, it could even make my job easier.
you want is make a big wish we I'm gonna call the pops. Uh, we're recording you. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, I, I'm just your neighbor coming by to say howdy. Oh, huh. sorry about that. Yeah, we're not used to people stopping by to say howdy without assaulting us first, robbing us, or defecating on our lawn. Sometimes all three. <laughs> the trifecta. We're from Los Angeles. Just moved to Texas. I figured. Oh, the California plates? Well, yeah. I, the masks, inside your own house, no one else around, 2022. <laughs> we just want to be extra safe. We feel naked without masks. We'll probably wear them for the rest of our lives. We'll be buried in them. Okay. Well, you seem like a lovely couple. Like I said, I just wanted to drop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Why? Do you want something? Oh. No, 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 no. They're, uh, I think he's being friendly. People around here are friendly, like we've seen in the movies, right? I thought that was just make-believe, like superheroes or families that go to church. No, 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 that's a myth. This is real life. Oh. So, uh, I live in that house over yonder. The name's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I'm Timpany, she, her. And I'm Steve, he, him. What are your pronouns? I don't believe in pronouns. I think they're reductive. In fact, just your asking about it is a microaggression. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I like all pronouns. My favorite is you. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Exactly. So, if you need anything, just holler, my wife and I'd be happy to help. Baby, he has a gun. Oh, I'm calling the cops. I'm recording you. No, no, no. no. Recording it's you. okay. It's okay. It's just my sidearm. Everybody here has a gun. Uh, sorry. We don't really like guns. Mm. There's a lot of crime where we're from. Yeah. I understand. There's not a lot of crime here. Why? Why? Because everybody here has a gun. I don't... Get it. It doesn't add up at all. You'll get used to it. But what if I don't want to get used to it? Big. Guns? People walking up to your driveway without masks and, and without pronouns? I, I don't think I can live like this. Well, if it makes you feel more at home, we just recently replaced a lot of our electrical grid with unreliable wind power. Baby. It helps. But honestly, I just don't think I can do this. Where's the police sirens? Where's the helicopters overhead? Where's the needles in the street? I just can't live like this. It's so hot. And the bugs are so big. Ever since I was mass-produced in a factory, people have been trying to put labels on me. Nutrition labels, expiration dates, 
telling me I was biologically chocolate on the inside, but deep down I knew I wasn't who they said I was. I was. I am. A Skittle. Part of moving forward is accepting responsibility for your past. The people at Mars Inc., they weren't bad people, they were just ignorant. They thought they knew what candy I was just because they knew my exact chemical composition, but we are not our biology. We're holding ourselves accountable for the way in which accurate product descriptions caused hurt and pain to the trans candy community. I, I just woke up one day and realized I am not defined by the chocolate center I was made with. I am, and always was, a delicious grape Skittle. And I'm proud of it. So, Mars has committed to never again assigning an identity to the candy we produce. Instead, we'll let each candy decide for himself, or herself, or Skittle self, who they really are. And whatever the candy says, we will falsify nutrition information to make it a reality. Now, reality can truly be whatever we want. I'm just free. Free at last to be me, the real me. We're even offering every peanut M&M a total nut removal, free of charge, because they're free to be themselves, nuts or no nuts. Having completed my transition to living as a grape skittle, I've been so grateful for the acceptance I've found here at Mars Incorporated. Thanks for accepting a skittle. Like me. What seems to be the problem, officer? You've been driving in the carpool lane for the past three miles. Alone. <laughs> Alone? <laughs> well, you should know that my pronouns are they, them. So we can drive in the carpool lane. Yeah, I got a driver out here in the carpool lane that says her pronouns are they. Excuse me, her? All right, let's just get your license and registration, please, ma'am, ma'am, you, can I say you? You want me to provide photo ID? <laughs> Racist much? Okay, how about just a vaccine card then? Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, I've got all my medical records right here. We were boosted seven times. One for each of us. Anyway, it's all there. Are we free to go, sir? Wait. I'm sorry, did you just, uh... Did you just assume my gender? It's actually offensive to look at somebody and assume, by their appearance, that they are a man or a woman. Man or woman? Now you're implicitly perpetuating the oppressive societal construct of the gender binary onto me, a victim of violent police aggression! Please stop yelling! Verbal attacks or violence, which is triggering! Trigger? Are you gonna shoot me? I, I literally can't even. I? Don't you mean we? Uh yeah, we literally can't even. Saying you can't do something is ableist and mocks people that actually have a mental or physical disability. We have a mental disability. <laughs> well, I'm 1-1024th Navo, and you're lucky that I'm giving you a fine and not kicking you off my ancestral land that you white colonizers stole from my people. You can't find we. That money funds police departments and perpetuates the terrorization of underprivileged communities and the expansion of the police state! I need backup at the 405 in Santa Monica. They're getting away. What? They? How many of them are there? Who's getting away? They are! They are! Ah! Ah! Yeah, I can't make it. Gotta hear him holding up a Caesar and a Pizza Hut Taco Bell. Oh, cool. Can you pick me up a pan pizza? You got it, bud. <laughs> hey, sisters. So you've given your heart to Jesus, but what to do with the rest of you? Not only God's love can transform your heart, but we can give the rest of you a push in the right direction with the Christian Woman Starter Kit. Let your future Boaz know you're the helpmate of his dreams with our stylish drapey cardigan, infinity scarf, felt hat, mid-calf height boots, and of course, leggings. 
If the Bible ever seems too intimidating to dive into, we also include our Christian Women's Study Bible. Essentially, all it is is Proverbs 31, the Book of Ruth, and the rest of the text is replaced by a reminder to ask your husband to explain it to you, per 1 Corinthians 14.35. If you still feel like you need to read more for some reason, this package also includes a book of your choice from either Rachel Hollis, Jen Hatmaker, Glennon Doyle, or if you're not into heresy, Ali Beth Stuckey. We should take every opportunity to share the gospel with others. Almost as important is sharing your love for coffee with cute home decor. So we've included 5% off coupons to Hobby Lobby, where you can find the perfect expression of your own personality, which is entirely unique from every other woman with the exact same sign. Bonus points if the sign mentions God and coffee. Finally, in the Christian Woman Starter Kit, you'll be given the choice between three multi-level marketing schemes, <coughs> sorry, business opportunities to join. Mmm, that's the aroma of friendship. God looks at the heart, but we need to see that you're committed to looking like the rest of us. We're so excited to be doing life with you. Oh, and Jesus, <laughs> of course. Order your Christian Woman Starter Kit today, or if you sign up eight of your friends, receive your first bundle free. Dr. Pollen, I'm your two o'clock. Oh, hey Mandy, uh, have a seat. What can I do for you? It's terrible, I can't even. I have literally lost my ability to even. Well, let's calm down. What was it? Some sort of tragic loss? Death in the family? No, no one misgendered you, did they? No, it's even worse. Elon Musk wants to buy our company. <sighs> All right, not another one. <clears throat> All right, just tell me. What is it about Elon buying Twitter that actually bothers you? And remember, this is a safe space. There's no judgment here. If he buys our free speech platform, people will be able to have free speech on our platform. Well, that's just stupid. Uh, all right, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's go a little bit deeper. What exactly bothers you about somebody having free speech on our free speech platform? If we don't have the unilateral power to ban ideas we don't like, we'd actually have to discuss and defend our ideas based on their own merit. And what's the problem with that? It's just everyone who disagrees with me is a Nazi. So it's imperative that I change their mind with force and violence. Very interesting. Let's, let's try something else. I'm going to hold up some shapes and I want you to tell me exactly what you see. Nazis, Nazis, Nazis. That one kind of looks like a lip. Nazis, Nazis, Adolf Hitler, Nazis. Oh, I know that one. It's the Hindu symbol for peace. Namaste. Nazis, Nazis, Donald Trump. No, wait, it's still Nazis. Fascinating. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to answer honestly. Is Elon in the room with us right now? Yes, I see him at work. I see him at Whole Foods. I see him when I get into my Tesla. He's everywhere. All right, whatever. Next. Hey, Doc. What? Why do you have these pictures of my mom? Mr. Dunsenson? Yeah, come on in. You know, uh, you're 20 minutes late. Yeah, Twitter, we didn't have, like, start times. Schedules are a remnant of an oppressive colonialist regime. Oppressive colonialist regimes? Okay. Well, look, the work here is pretty demanding. We need to find someone who can inspect all of our outgoing... Miss, are, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm not really used to bosses using trigger words like demanding and inspect and work. But this is a job. We don't say that either. Then how do you get any work? Huh. 
Well, I mean, so how do you get any uh, labor stuff production, the handwork, not work, sorry, stuff done? How do you get any stuff done? Uh, Streep's got tons of stuff done on Twitter. Oh, okay. Well, what would you say you did there? I was responsible for so much as a content moderation specialist. Some days during my afternoon cornhole sesh, I get a text telling me I had to ban someone. So then you'd have to actually like walk over to your, your computer and ban them? Uh, no. I would just hit a button on my phone and then BAM! Babylon B, banned. Libs of TikTok, banned. Steve from Fruitport, Michigan, you know he banned. And then back to cornhole. Uh, all right, well. What else did you do there? Drank like a sailor. They had wine on tap, mimosas, a full microbrewery. They also had AA, which was kind of helpful for me. One day at a time. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, well, so I think I've seen everything that I need to see. Did you have any questions for us? Tons. Okay, first, you don't actually like expect me to come into the office, do you? Well, how do you expect to get any work done, labor done, stuff done at the factory without coming into the factory? Oh, so this is like a job job. Yeah, that might be a deal breaker for me. Uh, also, I didn't notice any meditation rooms when I came in. Do you guys have any gurus on site or is it more like a BYOG type situation? BYO what? Also, I didn't see a QR code for your lunch menu, but I assume your shrimp is non-GMO and cage-free. Shrimp? Where'd you get shrimp? We don't have any shrimp. Hey, sorry to interrupt, boss. Pneumatic drill is on the fritz again. I need to go pick up some parts. I'll be back in five. Ugh! What was on his hand? Uh, it was grease. How did it get there? Because he worked, does stuff, engages in manual labor. Okay, that's it. I can't do this. I'm sorry, Mr. Dunsonson. We've decided to go in a different direction. All right, well, I'm sorry to hear that, miss. <gasps> no, 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 no. Hey, boss, she gone? Yep. You thinking what I'm thinking? Rooftop cornhole sesh? I got the mimosas. Hi, I'm Farrah McRendelson. Will you be an angel for a helpless lib? Every day, innocent libs are ratioed, flamed, and even neglected. For just $8 a month, you can sponsor a liberal, providing them with a blue check, and more importantly, with hope. That's about the cost of one white chocolate low whip almond milk latte light froth, or one gallon of gas. Call now. Your donation will provide identity verification, all the benefits of Twitter Blue, and a newfound sense of self-worth to a poor needy lib. Plus, you'll receive a photo and regular updates from your sponsored lib. Everyone knows the only people worth listening to are blue checks. Don't let a lib become an absolute waste of a human being. Browse our database of needy libs today. Please act now, because due to inflation, $8 will soon be worth $4, and then you'll have to pay $16. Right now, there's a lib who's in need, and you can help. Don't wait. Every minute, more libs fade into obscurity, and even though they are definitively rich enough to pay it for themselves, their liberal worldview dictates that you should be the one to shoulder the burden. It's the compassionate thing to do. I want it! I want it! It's okay. Elon Musk can't get you here. You're gonna stay verified. Look at what you're doing to her, Elon. We don't talk about China, no, no, no. We don't talk about China. It was Inauguration Day. We were getting ready and there was 
girls in a crowd at the mall Bitches all over the mall China calls in per our mutual win Corn pop You telling this story or am I? I'm sorry, just talking, go on. China says we don't detain. But they're trying to mentel us. Uyghurs or start COVID strain. Oh, mama, what's your clean fella? We'll circle back another day. I'm sure Trump they be so they're okay. We, we don't, don't talk, talk about China. China. No, no, no. We, we don't, don't talk, talk about, about China. China. Find a love of China, silence in the censoring I will always pander to their edit in the murdering I associate them with the sound of printing cash Got a gay kiss to miss with the Chinese Edit till we get it all approved by the commies Grappling with policies we couldn't understand Do you understand? Five foot seven frame, bad soup as a snack All my function gains will all fade to black Can't hear beagle screams Cause I surgically removed their vocal cords We don't talk about China No, no, no We don't talk about China Cause China. I mean, you don't know what you're talking about Fang Fang told me she really loved me But the next day, gone No, no, no <laughs> When I ask the who about I want my phone call went dead Your fate is you and your fortune cookies red I tell you that Taiwan and Hong Kong are in China and someday be mine I tell you that my power will grow like the dragon that fly through the sky Yes, Xi Jinping is on his they way They told me that the slaves would make me some nice Nike jerseys If I shut up and dribble it's like I hear him you now I want not it's a like sound I hear out him of now. you I can hear him now Um, China Yeah, about that China I really told you all about China And the truth in the whole truth, China Donald Trump, you get out of here Get out of Twitter Five foot oh, seven frame Fat soup as a snack All oh, my fortune Nobody listen. Our next spelling bee contestant is Madison. Your word is precocious. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Precocious. Little know-it-alls like you are annoyingly precocious. Precocious. P-R-E-C-O-C-I-O-U-S. Precocious. That's correct. Uh, Lincoln? Your word is woman. Well, woman, can I have the country of origin, please? I, I don't, I don't, it, it, probably England or Germany or something. Woman. Um, can I have the definition, please? Uh, why don't you ask Judge One that question? Can I have the definition of woman, please? No. Why not? I'm allowed to ask for definitions, right? The the thing is, a woman is the there. The a woman is 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 yeah, what, a she's, woman. what she's trying to say is that each person gets to define for themselves what a a woman is. So, can you define it? No. Why? I just want to know the definition of woman. And that makes you a hateful little bigot, Lincoln. I don't hate anybody. How about we just use it in a sentence? Abortion is a woman's right. If a woman 
makes an accusation we should believe all women. Joe Biden picked a woman as a running mate. Ketanji Brown Jackson is the first black woman on the Supreme Court. Hillary Clinton should have been the first woman president. UPenn swimmer Leah Thomas is a woman. I'm a woman. I'm not a woman. 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 How can you use in all those sentences if you don't know the definition? Listen, you intolerant little bigot, just spell the word so we can get a girl up here to win this whole thing. The definition of woman is woman. <laughs> hmm? Woman, a woman, woman! Are you happy? That doesn't make any sense. It's a simple word. We all know what a woman is. Just spell woman. Okay. <sighs> woman. W-O-M-A-N. Woman. Wrong! It's got an X in it now for some reason. W-O-M-X-N. Now get out of here! Kenny, you're up next. X doesn't make that sound. Kenny, your word is micropacocephalosaurus. His word was woman. New from Mattel, Barbie's boyfriend is getting a much needed and way more inclusive makeover. Introducing... <laughs> you know he's pregnant and his beard lets you know he's a man because men can get pregnant just like women in fact there's no definition of women we literally have no idea what a woman is pregnant Ken does all the normal things every birthing person does like chest feed then hide his breasts with chest binders he rocks baby to sleep with his supple masculine arms and Ken being a man and therefore a good driver can even put baby in the back of the car for a fun drive around town but not everyone in Barbie world is as open-minded as Ken. Men can't get pregnant? Hey, wait a minute. You're just a woman on hormones. Shut up, bigot. Tell your birthing people to buy you a pregnant Ken today. Because why should women be the only ones who can experience the miracle of getting an abortion? My body, my choice. Available in the non-gender specific toy aisle at Target, adjacent to the chest winders for kids. Not legal for sale in Florida, Texas, or Saudi Arabia. Pregnant Ken, not actually a man. I want to thank you all for coming down here today. I hope it's not too hot. You can always turn the thermostat down a couple thousand degrees if anyone gets uncomfortable. Mmm. It's kale flavor. It's my favorite. As you all know, the team and I suffered a uh, big defeat this week with um, the overturn of Roe v. Wade. We went out there. We, we gave it our all. Uh, with fantastic offensive game, but ultimately the good guys and... Uh, and Justice Roberts came in clutch. Played a better game. So let's uh, let's take some questions. Uh, you, you there with the teeth. Satan, it seemed like you had it in the bag with Roe on lockdown for 50 years. What went wrong out there? Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for the question. Um, you know, we gotta look on the bright side here. We, we put up some incredible numbers. Over 60 million PBAs, that's pre-born babies aborted for the late person. It's an absolute world record. Uh, yeah, I can't take all the credit though. This is a team sport, and uh, you got an incredible team. You know, you got Planned Parenthood, Moloch, Nancy Pelosi. They all made this possible. It didn't go the way that we uh, wanted this time, but in the end, we still have a championship team of demons, devils, and Democrats out there. And you know, there's always uh, there's always next season. Excuse me, the devil. Uh, what are your plans for the Hell franchise going forward? Yeah. Excellent question. Uh, Obviously, this is a rebuilding year for us. We're gonna, we're gonna build back better. And uh, we have some great up and coming prospects. We got Kamala Harris. Uh, you've heard her uh, demonic cackle. Of course, it's one of the best in the game. It scares even me sometimes. <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, we've got all the, the progressive Christians out there. Uh, we got the guy from Green Day. We got Pink now. And of course, the Republicans with the weak defensive game. So thanks, Mitt. Um, you know, they let us remain dominant killing babies for over 50 years. And let's not forget, we still have, we still have California and New York in, in, in the bag, putting up incredible numbers in the child sacrifice department. Anything else you can tease for the fans out there? Well, uh, let's see, well, while our abortion game will be down for a while, 
we've got some great stuff lined up. So we're gonna be rolling out another Amy Schumer comedy special. That's good. Um, we got an even flimsier paper straw debuting next year. And we're putting more extremely long, unskippable cutscenes in video games. You know, the ones with the sudden QT sequences where you gotta mash X or you instantly die. You have to watch the whole thing again. That's <laughs> classic. Uh, uh, so, you know, uh, don't count us out. Um, anyway, uh, I gotta make a, an appearance at a family-friendly drag show in Texas. No more questions, okay? This press conference is over. And, oh, and, and Beelzebub, uh, release the bees. Wait, what? Bees? You know, so many people helped us through the years. Margaret Sanger, Alyssa Milano, shout out to my homegirl, uh, Michelle Obama out there, thanks for the support. Let's see, Jen Hatmaker, uh, Rachel Hollis, uh, the absolute goat, Kermit Gosnell, uh, pretty much every Hollywood actor, uh, except for that, uh, that guy who played Frazier. Uh, uh, Joe Biden's handlers, uh, all the Republican congressmen <laughs> who've gotten their mistresses pregnant, uh, and the ladies from my favorite television show, of all time, The View. I do great work. Oh, and Steve. Maiden, I assure you, I have no quarrel with you. What is an elf maiden doing so far from home? Who are you, daughter of Valinor of such beauty? I am Gwenriel of Oregion. My pronouns are she, her. And who are you? I am hmm, Glubba. And what of your pronouns? What's a pronoun? Never mind. My pronouns are she, her. I am standing on the stolen land of the indigenous orc peoples, and I am wearing a green cloak. Yes, I can see that. I'm standing right here. It's for the blind? If they're blind, why do they need to know that you're wearing a green cloak? Okay, here we go. Ableism and mansplaining? <laughs> you Numenorians are so privileged, what with your patriarchal society? If I may... Excuse me, I I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. You have no idea what I have to go through on a daily basis. Men catcalling me, assuming that I can't fight because I'm a tiny woman half their size, and don't even get me started on the man spreading within the elvish community. My lady, look out! <laughs> Fairest maiden of the elven realm, I swear that no harm will come to you as long as I live. You killed they! Well, yeah. He was an orc. They are the bad guys, you know. You assume that they're the bad guys because of your internalized colonialist presumptions. They're actually an oppressed, marginalized group that has been driven out by ethnocentric, xenophobic Numenorians. Another orc approaches. Should I kill it? No! That's punching down. Just apologize. Tell him that you're listening and you're willing to learn about the orc community. What does that even mean? Tell him you see him, you hear him, you celebrate him. Will that stop him from trying to kill me? Mm, no, but it will help with your Numenorean guilt. Ah! 
Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! Ah! He's heavily implying! He's going to eat me! Don't mock ethnic food choices. He's not a racial minority! He's a hideous orc! Really? Body shaming now? I come back to you now, at the turn of the tide. It must be some wizard sent here to Middle Earth to help us. Say what? No, I'm Kamula, princess of Khazad-dûm. And I'm way more oppressed than that dumb orc. So you know, I'm allowed to kill these fools. Intersectionality, baby. Woo woo! A great evil approaches. I can smell it. Oh, hey, um, howdy. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I think I just got turned around coming over the Misty Mountains cold. Whew. And uh, hoping you can give me some direction. <laughs> up the pace, white boy. It's a long journey across Middle Earth. <sighs> hey, you there. You with the Bible. Me? Yeah, you. Are you tired of all that God stuff? Do you want Christianity to be easier, more exciting, and less demanding on your free time? Boy, do I. Then why don't you throw out that old lame Christianity classic and try the very new Christianity light? Whoa! <laughs> Wow! This is totes bussin', yo! Christianity Light uses all the same terms as Christianity Classic, but without all that unwanted salvation from your sins and wrath of God stuff. Now you can be a Christian without everyone thinking you're a total square. You know, I used to think you were a total square. Turns out you're not like one of those Christians who follows the Bible, bro. You're pretty cool. Uh. All up in the club! Hey! I'm drinking alcohol! alcohol. I'm saying swear words! All right! Woo! Pro choice! Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, hey! Oh, hey yeah. What's up, bro? Where are the girls at? <laughs> You're like, where are the. Alcohol! Alcohol! Woo! And best of all, with Christianity Light, you don't even have to go to church. Now I can have Christianity and my sin too. Thanks, Christianity Light. I'm watching Game of Thrones, and I ain't watching it on VidAngel. Christianity Light has been endorsed by Joel Osteen, Rob Bell, Jen Hatmaker, Rachel Hollis, Oprah Winfrey, Richard Rohr, and Satan. It's the only version of Christianity with none of the guilt and judgment, but with the same great spiritual feelings. Side effects may include a sharp increase in sin, a hole in your heart you can't seem to fill, demon worship, earth worship, self worship, diarrhea, trust in the Enneagram, drug use, supporting the murder of babies, deconstructing your faith, deconversion, post in the black square on IG, eventual atheism, agnosticism, anxiety, nihilism, judgment, Buddhism, eternal suffering, severe injury, and second death. Christianity Light is not responsible for those who suffer everlasting damnation. Check with your pastor to see if Christianity Light is right for you. I ain't harming anyone. Hi, I'm Oliver Bartholomew, and I'm 16 and a half years old, and I'm the speechwriter for Colin Harris. My mommy and daddy say, if you find a job you love, you'll never have to work a day in your life. Morning, Frank. Yeah, hey, hey, Oliver. And my parents were right. Ever since I was little, I liked words. Writing words is fun, so I made writing words my job. Every politics person has a writer, like me, to make good words for them to say. Space is exciting. Space, it affects us all. And it connects us all. I got that idea when I was thinking about space and how big it is. Man, it's big. It's not all fun, though. Sometimes I have to write about bad stuff, like war. Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists 
next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. It's cool to see the words I've typed good actually get get set on TV. It's fun. I like it. Once I thought it would be neat if Kamala wore a blue suit and told people she was wearing it because I like blue. I'm a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. It's cool because the suit's blue and it's the color of the sky. Where are you, my ideas? I'm all over. One time, I was on the school bus and I thought it would be neat if Kamala talked about the school bus. And who doesn't love a yellow school bus, right? Who doesn't love a yellow school bus? Right? Can you raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus, right? I can't take all the credit, though. Me and Mr. Kama are a team. Do you know, like, relay racing? You know, you race and someone passes the baton and then, right? But she kind of is crazy or something. And she kind of scares me. <laughs> and you can't fake that kind of performance. Remember Venn diagrams, those three circles? Right. And then let's just see where they overlap. You I did it. I did it. <laughs> What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. You're either born with it or you're either not. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. It's quitting time. I need to get home in time for blue. See you, my fag. See you later, Oliver. Noof here. I'm a famous person, so you already know who I am. I'm just here to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe to the Babylon Bees YouTube channel and hit that little bell because when you do that, I make more money. It's trickle up economics. You subscribe, I make money, money trickles up, it all works out in the end. We're all in this together or whatever.